Spawning in the top left position as our yellow, almost forgot how to say yellow, Zerg player. For Root Gaming, it is Katz, who's currently down 0-1 in this best of three series. He's going to need to uh, get some hustle and flow going if he wants to tie things up against this guy in the bottom right. Spawning as the red Protoss from Team Roxas, it is Titan. So we saw in game number one, Titan went for an aggressive gateway timing. He didn't have that many gateways with the initial push, but uh, it, it was it was still very effective. He cat he really caught Cats off guard. Cats was only reacted to the Phoenix play. The plus one uh, Zealot attack was just you know so expertly thrown in there. Because the thing is, when you go for a four gate pressure off of two bases Protoss, there's really not much damage you can do because. It's, you know, it's the bare amount of production that you need to survive an attack. But Cats, not having the scouting information, not knowing about that plus one, really hurt him. Because even with a low Zealot count, being able to two hit Zerglings instead of three shots is so important. This map, though, is going to favor the way that Cats likes to play a little bit more. If we scouts that Nexus first, we could see another greedy play. But uh, Titan, he's been pretty solid about punishing that sort of style so far. Hatch first from Cats. Not surprising, but Titan is actually going to open up Forge. There is a drone here for Cats to block the natural of Titan. He wanted to delay this as much as he could. And now we could see Titan try to do something really kinky like a cannon rush. He has a second probe moving over. And Cats basically saying, okay, well, I'm just never going to leave this probe go. But there's a pylon for Titan. This is where things get crazy. Titan is saying, no, man. Screw you, you Peruvian Zerg, I am not going to let you just go hatch first and block my Nexus first. Katz has uh, four drones down on the low ground so far. These probes doing what they can. There is a second probe, of course, that can always come in. And there's another. There's the cannon now starting. And actually, it's a pretty kinkily positioned cannon. It's going to be hard to get a surround on. Another cannon will begin building. To, ooh, trying to get on another one. But Katz is going to pull everything to stop this. Canceling, canceling. Throwing down even more cannons, pylons, and... Wow, this is, he's gonna, he's basically making Cats come down here and hold on to this forever. At least one of these cannons is gonna finish if Cats can't uh, properly pick them, uh, get them off in time. The center cannon here is looking like it's gonna actually, I don't know. I feel like Titan's really over committing here. This is a lot of cannons. I, I don't think any, mm, this left one actually, yeah, that one's gonna finish and it will have a pretty reasonable amount of health, but how much will it be able to kill is the question. Oh, he's trying to lock the drones inside. Oh, well. Oh, Titan, no, he's not, he's, wow, he let a lot of these drones at low health, he kind of, he was trying to do some cute target fire, but these three cannons are going to finish by the natural, and uh, Katz is going to lose this, but Katz, in true Peruvian fashion, oh my god, we do have that hatchery building inside the main base, the proxy play from our root zerg, so he's going to give up his natural, the question is, what will he do about this? His spawning pool is on the way with this extractor. I only see one option for cats, and that is going to be building roaches. The problem is, he doesn't have the roach horn yet. And as soon as this creep spreads within Titan's vision, this is where things get funky. Oh, Titan, he's going to see it soon. It's going to be up. Oh, he's like, what? What? Oh, goodness. I actually want to put the camera on Titan's camera. I'm putting, we're, we're, we're playing on Titan's vision. We're going to wait until he sees this creep and how he reacts to it. I want to see Titan react to this creep because the Roach Warren is on the way. He's going to proxy Roaches. Now, no, he's not. He's not doing anything special. He's not even looking at it. That's weird. That's that's kind of interesting. I guess he's kind of just realized that this is happening. So let's go back to all vision. Cats. Roach Warren's coming in, getting a second gas. The cannons, he, he does have two of them here to be able to block this base from being built. Now, what is he going to do? He's got Zerglings inside Titan's main. Did Titan not notice the creep in his main base? There's a queen here. He can inject these probes. There's nothing here to fight this. There's just the cannon and the natural. And, oh my goodness. Cats, he's getting burrow. Oh, you sly dog. You getting trying to get a pylon in the main base. He wants to use this pylon to, uh, to build a cannon so that he can at least defend something. But Titan's got to pull all of his probes down to his natural. This is a very awkward position to be in. And Cats, he, do he doesn't care. He has no... Yeah, wow, this is... Oh, my God. The probe's trying to keep those Zerglings from breaking off into the natural. 
Now, the Zerglings will be able to tag this main Nexus. The Mothership Core has only just started, so no Photon Overcharge means not going to be easy to defend this. The Roaches are coming out. Three of them, and this, uh, he can just run right past his cannon, and this one Zealot will not be enough. The Probes let me pull the deal with this. He's spreading Creep inside the main base of Titan. And, uh, well, here come the Roaches. Ooh, that Zealot won't be able to stop. The Mothership Core is here, which is very, very important. He will be able to at least take out this Zealot. The Mothership Core plus the Probes trying to fight off these Roaches. But Cats are going to be able to do a pretty significant amount of damage if he can get more of these units out. Three more Roaches. I feel like he needs to concentrate his forces a tiny bit more. There's no sentries on the field, which means he doesn't have any way to control. <gasps> Cats! Burrow Micro on the Roaches. He says, oh, you get my Roach weak? Well, I'm just going to Burrow. And now Titan is... Fr this is the part was the Protoss player. You're like, oh, man, did I really just cannon rush Cats? And he's going to regret that decision probably for the rest of his life, as there is a pylon coming, but he can kill anything that starts to build here. Cats, in a stellar fashion, has uh, has responded very well to this cannon rush. There's like, oh, my Roach is weak. Yeah, no, we're going to play Whack-A-Mole. And uh, Titan, he doesn't really have big enough of a mallet to smack down our Root Gaming uh, Zerg player's Roaches. Titan, what can he do? He's, his main Nexus is gone. There's Creep there. Of course, he's miles away from getting any detection to deal with that. And these roaches, he can't kill them. He's like, Photon Overcharge? Yeah, ask, ask me if I care. I'm just going to burrow my roaches, and that's it. And he's just going to dance. He's going to dance the night away. It's pretty much what he's going to do. The roaches get weak, he burrows, and then he can just... I mean, once this cannon finishes, I, I, I feel like this could be a good point for Titan. Uh, cats, how much more is he making? Just another roach inside of this base. Um, yeah, Cats doesn't really need to do much else. I don't think Titan can win the game here. He's at 11 supply. Cats, pretty sick play. This is actually this is actually pretty pretty freaking awesome. Excuse the fact that Dreamhack Dreamhack completely ruined my voice, but I would be I would be pretty pretty freaking pumped about this if it wasn't for all the soreness. GG Cats ties this series up, one one. Look at those burrowed roaches, so adorable. That was a sick game. That was fun. I enjoyed that. So GG, and now the score is going to be 1-1 uh, between Roxas, Titan, and Root Cats. And the deciding map, of course, we have already for today's match is known to be Neo Planet S. Could get another crazy game. Send this to when she fails, perhaps. This is a really nice game. Yeah, that was a good reversal. You know, yeah, that was that game was messed up. 